Uh, it was good. You know, I, I, I like this group. You know, they, they've been pretty consistent coming out, competing against each other. Today went back and forth between offense and defense. Saw some guys making plays on both sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, we, the thing I talked to them at the end, though, was about being consistent. We're not nearly consistent enough. The good news is that we got 29 practices in the fall to get there. Uh, but we're seeing, you know, some flashes from guys, which is what you want to see in the springtime. That was the emphasis as far as the scenarios or what you. Yeah, we, on we, we worked some red zone today. Uh, we we worked some uh, second down, play the third, so some third down awareness things with, with different, you know, uh, third down uh, distances. And then at the end, we we worked our uh, backed up drill where offense has to get a first down, defense has to make a punt from down there. And, uh, you know, anytime you get, get that situational competitiveness, it's fun to see our guys step up. So you said Thursday is a helmet day? So. Yeah, Thursday will be one of the NCAA mandated uh -huh. uh, helmet only days. So then what, what did you want to get out of this last one before the spring game? Or well, you know, days? kind of what we did today, you know, some situational work, some physical work. Uh, we had half the practice could be uh, tackling in, by, by the NCAA rules, so we, we did certain drills that were live. Uh, you know, we had some physical bubble bullet stuff going on, so yeah, all in all, I think it was a good day. What do you want to see in the spring showcase compared to the last two scrimmages? Anything that's needed? Well, I, I think we want to keep making steps towards getting consistent. You know, we're, we're going to have a lot of our veterans not playing a whole lot uh, Saturdays, but some of these young guys are going to get those opportunities for the last time to show on tape what they can do. So I want to see some guys try to establish, you know, can they can they be a dependable part of our 2D? Has Robert Stanley moved to inside? Or is that, yeah, Robert's been inside. How's that transition team? been for him? Good, yeah. You know, he's, he's competing well. Uh, you know, haven't been an outside backer up until uh, when we went to the bowl game, we moved him inside. I uh, mean, it's been a little bit of a transition, but but I think he's getting more and more natural every day. I know you really liked his length coming out of high school. What, what does he bring at inside compared to? Well, he's a, he's a physical presence. Uh, he's he's a guy that that you know can play in the box. He, he's athletic enough to play out of it, and, and uh, I think as he learns it, he'll start playing faster. With Charles out, how's the safety position developed now? Well, class? Charles is going to be a corner for us. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So right now we've got we've got three safeties going with Shannon with Shannon out being hurt, but uh, you know, we've moved Stratton Brown there. Uh, we have A.W. In, in there right now and Dalen Jones. So those guys have been rotating. Uh, we moved uh, uh, Obi from safety to outside linebackers, so, you know, trying to get guys in the right spots. But but it's been a good competition for those three safeties. They've gotten a ton of reps, which is what they need. Um, I, I like the fact that we're going to get Shannon back in the fall and, and uh, see these guys compete again. How was Stratton developing? I believe he started out with first team reps. Is he still there right now? Yeah, we're, we're rotating guys, but uh, right now if we had to probably start a game, he'd be a, be a starter for us. Uh, I like the way he's developed. Mm -hmm. What did you see out of him last year and just where he's improved since then? Well, you know, Stratton for the first time last year, you know, playing Division One football, it was, it was coming at him fast, like a lot of guys for the first time. But, uh, you know, having had that experience, banked that experience, did some really good things on special teams, he's starting to get a better feel and idea of the big picture, which is what you have to have to say in the position.